Welcome to the Organized Photographer, brought to you by Xire and Photo Focus. Erhard Barth, our guest, is one of the co-founders of Xire. He is the co-founder of Pattern Recognition Company and of Xire Incorporated. He's also the CEO of PRC. Erhardt has a doctorate in electrical engineering from the Technical University of Munich, and he's done postdoctoral work at the NASA Ames Research Center, no relation to me, and is an internationally recognized expert in computer vision and machine learning. He founded and co-founded several companies, including the Gestigen GmbH, now a Vallejo brand. So Erhardt, welcome to the organized photographer, and thanks for bringing a great tool for all of us to find our photos. How are you today? I'm fine. Thanks for um, having me. Um, so, um, yep. well, you're most welcome. Tell us a little bit about the origin of XIR Search and uh, how you came up with the idea for XIR Photo. Well, that's a long story, but um, <laughs> trying well, to cut it, condense it down to, a little tiny bit. Cut it short. So. Uh, I mean, I used to be a photographer, like, you know, like when I was a student, I was, you know, earning some money as a photographer and had my own dark room and so on. I even developed color slide films and stuff like that. And then, um, of course, I turned uh, digital and um, my, uh, now my collection grew and grew. So I was using Lightroom and, um, you know, then I, I had this impression that, uh, my images are kind of gone because they are in this Lightroom catalog and I don't have them anymore, right? So they're just gone. <laughs> uh, and so, um, because in the meantime, I was the CEO of the pattern recognition company. I decided that we have to do something about this, right? So then we, we started, so we had actually a, a project which was also funded by uh, the government and where we work with Nick Software um, on mm -hmm. computational photography and uh, the, that sort of started up, started this idea that we should also do a tool for, you know, getting uh, images organized. Uh, but we'll see, hopefully we'll see today. That we'll do some examples. Absolutely. Now, I just wanted to give people an idea, you know, origin stories are all the rage now. Yeah, yeah. So I thought yours was particularly interesting. Um, and I have the same problem with my Lightroom catalog that you have with yours. I've got about a million photographs in there and it's hard to find everything. And Xire has, I mean, you guys have some pretty amazing technology and it doesn't actually catalog the photographs so much as it indexes them. Is that correct? Well, we, we, we do have a catalog and we do have all the, um, you know, functions related to a database and all the functions you know where you can array images and stuff like that but in addition we have the the uh, ai built in right for searching and um, it's um, so usually people when they first see xia they think it's about um, you know giving keywords or creating automatic keywords which is uh, um, an important issue but I think it's more than that. It's really a combination of different search function that really, you know, enable you to to find your images, right? So, um, uh, and uh, maybe speaking of the background, maybe uh, I should say a few words about uh, the the company behind it. Right. So we we started out like two thousand five, uh, and we started by doing you know classical machine vision stuff like um, industrial inspection and then we moved into medical even now we have very exciting projects in medical vision where we you know we look at uh, cells and stuff like that to make diagnosis so to, uh, and so on um, but then um, we used all this knowledge to develop um, an engine which would run on every machine right so because uh, that's our main the main difference between let's say what google or apple does because they can also you know give you some keywords but for that you have to upload your images in the cloud and this is not only a problem of let's say maybe privacy or whatever which is a big issue here in in uh, in, in germany but it's also uh, that you can't really 
um, you know, combine all these functions that you have, right? So it's like a bit, if you, if you think of it like a journey, right? So you, you want to find an image. It's a bit like a, a journey where, and if you have to get to some place, right? you can take a plane, you can take a car, you can walk, you can take a bicycle, but usually you need to combine all these to get where you want, right? And that's actually the power that we have in Exire, that we have all these tools that you can easily combine and they will, you know, they will um, let you find the image you're looking for. So that's the, the, main, the main thing. And uh, um, so um, it's, um, so for me, it's more than just, you know, getting organized. It's, um, it's the fact that you, you, uh, you, you have your images back, right? So as I said in the beginning, you can I thought, find yeah, them. They are they are all gone, you, you know. But but now they are back, right? So you you can find them and you can you can show them. And after after all, that's what we want, right? So as a let's say as a photographer, the most important thing is that you have good images that you can share with somebody, and that's what makes you happy, right? Absolutely. And, and I think sharing is more than just what people do usually like, you know like share an image on uh, whatsapp or whatever and then it's gone right sharing is something more deeper i think that you have like images that that are part of your life and your life with other people so i always think of my grandmother she had a shoebox with maybe 20 pictures and mine these too pictures were part of her life and they would show them to us they would show them to her friends and uh, that's the actually the meaning of sharing right? it's not just blank and it's gone right and yeah. um, once you have you you live with this feeling that um, you can find the images they are there they are the you know on your fingertips then it's a different issue and that's what right. i wanted to that's what i wanted to get at right so and i i think you yeah. i think you've done a really good job of it frankly i've i've played with xire photo i haven't got it completely implemented yet I took some time out during COVID to go back to the university and finish my degree. So that's been taking a lot of time. Now, for those of us, for those of you who are joining us here in the Organized Photographer, we do have a Q&A pod. I will do my best to monitor that and follow the chat. And we've got a couple of questions, Earhart. Yeah. And does XIR work if I don't use Lightroom? And um, that's yeah. really a big question. And of course, we want to talk about XIR Photo, which is the non Lightroom plugin. It's the standalone software. Right. So uh, initially we had the plugin and that was working with Lightroom, but then uh, we developed our own software to, you know, to be able to uh, you know, improve on the user interface and the, the old functionality. And uh, the, the interesting thing is that no, yes, the answer is yes, it works without Lightroom, Exire Photo. And um, many of our customers, um, although they are still maybe using Lightroom, they prefer to not use the plugin. They use Exire Photo in addition to Lightroom, right? So you can, you can quickly call your images, you can uh, tag them and so on. And then if you want, you can transfer them to Lightroom and you can uh, use the tags in Lightroom, right? So it's uh, kind of, for some people, it's more convenient to use the plugin uh, for others. Um, uh, it's more convenient to use both. Um, I'm still, I, myself, I'm still uh, tied to Lightroom a little bit, but I'm uh, on the way to get rid of it. So, <laughs> um, What are you yeah. using as your so, uh, raw processor then? Yeah, that's, uh, you need it for that, but there are different tools for processing, right? So depending on what camera I use, I might want to use different tools for, for sure. developing, right? Uh, and um and XIR so, um, gives us a way of having access to all of the photography without yeah. being dependent on one raw processor or another. We can pick right. and choose this way. Right. So if I'm using my Fuji's, then I, I use a particular way of developing and so on. And also, uh, the more I use XIR photo, the more I try to, let's say, think more when I do the photographs, right, in order to not be able to develop too much, right, so because it's much more fun to, you know, uh, enjoy your images then and show them to somebody than to just work on them to develop the, you know, the details and so on. Yeah, yeah we have a, we have a question okay. from uh, Mary, and uh, she wants to know, how does the software XIR Photo differ from the Lightroom catalog system? Uh, well, um, 
it depends uh, which Lightroom version you are using, right? So if you are using the well, let's Lightroom let's say classic, Lightroom Classic because that would using be the most, most similar to XIR Photo, right? So then I would say um, the catalog functions um, we sort of cover probably most of them in XIR Photo, and in addition, so the big difference is that we have all these powerful search functions, right? So uh, in addition to you know, searching for your images by, I don't know, by um, metadata or date or by that. Well, you can search for, you know, you can search for uh, by subject, right? You can search for the images that you took at a beach with uh, two people at the beach and with the sunset and things like that. So you, you can really search by content, right? So I'm not sure. So for those of you who have already seen Exire, um, so now you We're have on the show left. it here in just a minute, aren't we? Yeah, okay. So then I explain a little bit more when we show it. Good. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and get your screen set up? And uh, I just wanted to mention that Xire has a special going on right now through Photo Focus, um, our, our spring sale. And regularly for a limited time, you can save $30 on the XIR bundle, which includes XIR Photo, which is a standalone version, and XIR Search 2, which is the Lightroom plugin. So you've got the best of both worlds. And uh, there's more. You can learn that at XIR.com. Note that this is only for U.S. audiences. So um, that's that. And I'll get you this information again later in the webinar. So go ahead and uh, are you ready to share your screen? Are you asking me or? I am. Okay. So I, I, did, I wasn't really prepared. So do you want me to share the screen and show you the Xire? Show program? us a little bit about Xire. And while you're doing that, I do have a question from Daniela. She says, and she's very polite. Could you be so kind to let us know where the data is stored? Is it in my own computer? I use external disks for my photo archive. And she says, thanks in advance for the answer. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all on your computer, yep. But um, um, I don't have the permission to share the screen. Let me see if I can get that working for you, sir. So that's, um, um, that's uh, very important for, especially for our customers here in, in Germany that uh, we have, we take these uh, privacy issues seriously and uh, we don't, we don't take All right, see if you can cloud. share it now, Earhart. Okay, I'll try again. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm going to address a little bit of Aunt Daniela's question. Uh, all of the work in XR Photo or in XR Search 2 is done on your computer. Even the AI technology, I understand, stays on your computer. Nothing goes outside of your computer. So uh, there's no real issue there. Are you able to share? So I have some problems with uh, the uh, Zoom doesn't, so the security settings, I have to private. Hmm, share. It's OK. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. and. The other one is, does XIR work if I don't use Lightroom at all? And that's what uh, XIR Photo is for. It's a completely standalone version. They do keywording as, as it indexes your pictures. And one of the most exciting parts of XIR for me is its visual search capabilities. Uh, it can recognize faces and it does a really good job of it. I can put in a picture of a model and it can show me all of the pictures of that model. And what's really interesting to me is that the one, the ones at the top of the sort are the ones that XIR says are the most likely to be that. And then as you get to the bottom of the collection, those are the ones that might not be as accurately sorted. So this is really a tremendous piece of software. Have you got it ready to go, Erhard? Yeah, but it says that I have to, um, I have to reopen Zoom in order to. <laughs> Let's so see. I'm might... gonna make you. A, I'm gonna make you a host and see if that will work. No, it's a problem with um, my own uh, settings here. So I, I probably have to quit and come back. Okay. 
uh, I will do my best to carry the webinar and ask, answer questions, <laughs> and I'll wait for you to reappear. Yeah, I'll come back. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay. All right. So these are the kinds of things that are absolutely wonderful about doing webinars. And, you know, it, it, it's so fun and personal. And you never see this kind of stuff happening on TV, except when the cat walks in front of the weather screen and the weather person is doing the weather. That's always fun. Here we go. All right. Looks like you're back. I'm back. Uh, and let me see if it works now. So now you have to enable it again, the sharing. Absolutely, I can do that. There you go. Okay, so let's see. Well, that's coming. Tracy says, this program saves me so much time. Okay, here we go. So can you see the screen? Uh, we absolutely can. Okay, so this is the the program, and um, um, so as I said, I wasn't prepared to give a demo, so I just. Well, it's not a demo uh, so much uh, as asking questions. So what what you see here is that um, you can add your folders here on the left side. So I added a few folders here, and I have about one hundred eighteen thousand pictures, and. Um, you can uh, scroll your folders, you can make collections. Um, and what I want to achieve is that people move from using this left part of the program to using the right part. Um, right, those are the keywords there. Now, yeah, these so are all generated by the artificial intelligence within XIR Photo, right? Right. Uh, so, which means you can browse your, uh, you know, everything just by by keywords, right? So you can uh, look at all your nature uh, stuff and, uh, you know, and you, you, so you just click on Canyon and you see all your images uh, in, taken a Canyon and stuff like that, right? So it's much more fun uh, to navigate, right? And um, besides that, so I have to get rid of some of these Zoom windows here, <laughs> they cover my, um, um, so there are different ways uh, you can search, right? So, um, um, so you can, um, uh, let's see, uh, for example, you, you can uh, uh, look at your, so I have 65,000 images of people, right? Um, Could you show what, us how it can, can find people by, by face recognition? Yeah, that's this what is... I was going to do now, right? So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to jump so, ahead. So then, um, if I, if I just uh, go over one of these pictures and just click that symbol, so I get the face uh, here and I can search for my, my daughter and I will get, uh, you know, so, so it's searching 120,000 images in that time. And I get all the images where my daughter is on them. Right. So that's one function. And then that's pretty uh, powerful. That really yeah, helps that's very powerful solve. and it works uh, really nice. And then of course, if you have these, you can do some additional search and then you can uh, turn well, that into a collection. Like I have a few here, right? Erhard, so, what would happen if you wanted to get, could you possibly sort it so that you see all the pictures of your daughter wearing a red dress? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, so what I could do is to, um, so I go, to, uh, to search by keyword and then um, I search for red as a dominant color and I do that not in the whole database but on the current view right and then uh, so I don't get the red dress but I get all the images with my daughter with some red color on it right uh, even a red hair usually, that's great but but uh, what you can also do is you just click on the the search window here and then you get all the the images which are kind of similar to that with you know without any um the, the the problem now is that i searched not only on the uh the current view but i searched in the whole database so but the main thing is that you have a few possibilities to search and you can combine them so for example here you can search by for faces or either one faces uh, as a portrait or just one face, whatever it is, or you can search for two faces. 
then you can specify the age and whether it should be a female or male or even whether people should smile and so on. and uh you know, and again, this was now searching online uh, in this short time through all the 100, 120,000 images. And you see, you get all the portraits with females and uh, smiles, right? Erhard, then you there's can... a question for it, and I'd like you to address it if you would be okay. so kind. I, I don't see the chat yet, but- No, it's okay. I'll read. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. You've got enough on your hands with that. That's my job. <laughs> okay. Uh, they they said this hundred and eighty this uh, hundred eighty thousand photographs you're searching, are yeah. those on your computer or are they on an external hard drive? So um, part of them are on my computer and part of them are on my RAID. So it doesn't matter how many drives you have hooked up to your computer, XIR can look through all of them at the same time. Yeah, I mean um, um, XIR analyzes all of them, and then. Uh, you can search for them even if your drive is not connected, but only if you then want to see it in full resolution or whatever, you need to connect the drive, right? So we have another question here that I think is very interesting. Yeah. Um, CK asks, can your auto, can XR's artificial intelligence distinguish among similar places, such as Antelope Canyon versus the Grand Canyon versus uh, Canyon <laughs> des Chalets? Well, we, um, uh, so, uh, so as you see, uh, let me show you this uh, to answer. So if you look for all the keywords, you see that we have a hierarchy. Um, let me move the windows again. Uh, so we have uh, this hierarchical structure and um, sometimes we go deeper in the sense that we can also recognize, let's say the, uh, Eiffel Tower in Paris and things like that. So we have a few of these um, places that we can recognize, but of course not all of them, right? But um, in principle, we can add whatever you want, but um, we have to somehow limit, you know, the the number of keywords in order to, you know, make it more, more let's say, more efficient or more practical. So you, so the answer is um, uh, we. Right now, we don't distinguish between different canyons, uh, but we distinguish, let's say, between uh, you know certain monuments. But of course, not all of them, right? Well, if you okay, let's just as a hypothetical, uh, are you familiar with Antelope Canyon at all? No. <laughs> or Arches National Park, where they've got the uh, what looks like uh, a guy standing in Levi's. It's a it's called the Delicate Arch. If you had a picture of the delicate art, something that was. So let's see what I have. Let's say what I have as canyons. So I okay, have. Okay, that's a great idea. I have uh, 1500 canyons. Um, let me. I have to always move the zoom windows around. So let's see. Um, so I see. Uh, so we can. Uh, hmm? Oh, uh, the whole database. So these are the canyons uh, I have, right? So this is Bryce, I think. Okay, uh, we're still seeing pictures of uh, ladies. Oh, there might be a delay uh, in the. So Fair can enough. you see the can you see the canyons now? <laughs> no, not yet. Oh. Hmm. Well, while you were doing that, there is a there is a question. Uh, the deal that we just talked about, are there any discounts for uh, people living in the UK? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, this is... Um, this is a US seminar, and I, yeah. I recognize that. But these are questions that are coming in the chat. And then is it possible to uh, order the XIR Search 2 plugin and not the bundle? And I, they say they don't see how to do that on our website. I will research that and get back to that question. Well, that okay. should certainly be, so it's certainly possible in the- uh, They're usual. available separately is really the yeah, answer. Yeah, they are available, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I actually use both of them. I find it very useful to have them both available. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have the both options then. So can you still uh, not see my canyons? Or? Bridget, we would never hold Brexit against you. <laughs> uh, 
No, all, we're still seeing pictures of, uh, uh, of, of ladies. So that means that the sh screen sharing is, um, uh, so maybe I can start the sharing. Just again. stop the sharing and let's start it again. That'd be fine. Yeah. Okay. So let's okay. do it again. And then while you're doing that, how do people add their own keywords on top of the keywords that XI or photo generates? So um, the way you do it is, uh, so you click on the image, then on the right side, you see the keywords that are assigned, okay? And this then, is how uh, you add your own keywords, right? And then ab above them, there is a field where you can just say, uh, let's say Bryce. Okay, and then you add it to the that, okay? And, or you can, uh, so, and you see the Bryce keyword that I added is in a different color, so you always know which are the ones you added and which are the ones uh, that have been added automatically. And you can also delete some. So if, for example, if you don't like the sand, you can just click on it and uh, it will be gone, right? Uh, and um, there's also a batch mode, so you can add keywords to whole batches of images. And um, so it's, um, it's pretty convenient. Um, Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, how do you use XI or Photo for finding the very best image that you want to share or that you want to make a print or you're going to post on Instagram? Um, well, um... So um, I think you need to have an idea of which image you are looking for, right? Let's use one of these Canyon pictures. Yeah. How would you, how would you rate and rank these? I mean, um, the ratings that you see here are the ones that were, you know, in my case, these were transferred from Lightroom because I mm -hmm. rated them there. Um, but so you um, could sort all the three stars if you wanted to for example yeah yeah you can uh, if you just you just click here and i get all my three stars right and um that's um one way to do it but uh, we have also something which is still um, experimental so you can play around with it we have it as a demo on our side where we really give some aesthetic rating and this is something we're going to incorporate in a um later version so we trained our neural networks with images from a certain database i don't want to say which one now which where images were rated and um, so these networks then can learn these ratings and we actually already organized a few competitions where our software rated the images and um uh, but that's of course a matter of taste, right? So sure. every everybody has his own uh, criteria of how to rate. For example, I'm very conservative. So if I give three stars, they should be pretty good already. And um, yeah, I almost Me never, too. I almost never have five stars. <laughs> so it's a- Yeah. So uh, there's, only, there's a question here. Yeah. Um, will the actual, this is from uh, Peter. Will the actual date of photos be accurately displayed when they're transferred or indexed into XIR Photo or XIR Search? Yeah. So we, so when you in your images, you have to make sure you um, you tick the import metadata button, and then you see I have we have the all the metadata here for um, for the uh, the images, right? So we the date, of course, and uh, right there it is. A, whatever else is uh, uh, is stored, okay? So, um, and you can even search by metadata in, in this top uh, uh, here. You see, you can uh, search by camera model and whatever. So in this case, it's a Fuji. Uh, so what I'm saying is that besides combining all these AI uh, search modalities you can in addition search by metadata and ratings and flags and whatever so you can combine all of these 
Well, these are, these are, this is very interesting. Now there's another question. You added Bryce to the keywords. Yes. Will it recognize other images like that and add Bryce to them? Or if you're being that specific, uh, Bryce Canyon, do you actually have to add those manually? Uh, I mean, um, so this, um, the, the software cannot learn on your computer, right? Okay. The training these networks is very, um, let's say, very um, demanding. But what you can do is, so for example, if I have my Canyon here and I just click this um, search icon, uh, then, uh, uh, wait a second, I have to clear the... Right, you've got uh, the stars clicked. Yeah, I have to. Let me see. Uh, so, okay, well, that's going on. Is there a maximum number of so, keywords? Let, wait a second. So, if I search for uh, in the whole database uh, for similar then I will get all my Bryce uh, Canyon images, right? And then I can just select them and I give them the one keyword and it will be inserted to all of them, right? Brilliant. Right. Got it. So yes. uh, is there a maximum number of keywords that Xire can handle? Um, yeah, we, uh, so, um, so that's uh, another difference um, when you compare with um, let's say Apple Photos or Google Photos, so that you don't actually know what keywords they are using. So in our case, the keywords are predefined. So you know exactly which keywords uh, we uh, use. And there are about 600 keywords that we use. And these are, you know, these are the ones you can, uh, you can see here, uh, uh, right? So you can, you can go deeper and then you can see all the keywords that we have, right? So these are built-in keywords that Xire will will work to attach to an individual photo as it's indexing it. Right. So it's a predefined set of keywords. Um, but so, um, we, of course, we spend a lot of time, uh, you know, thinking of which keywords would be relevant for this kind of application. And also, we invested a lot, a lot in the training data for these kind of keywords, right? Which is um, so. Can Xire find? an image that doesn't have a keyword. So can you find an image by its content only? This is a question from Mary. Yeah, of course, that's, I mean, that's what we're doing. So we are not, so these keywords are found automatically. So you don't need to have any keywords. So we generate them and, uh, um, you know, um, so you, you, you don't need keywords, right? So you can search without the keywords, but um, we, we display the keywords because you, you know, give you the opportunity to transfer them to other programs. But within Xire, we wouldn't need keywords. So, because we can uh, automatically find them you know, and analyze the images by content. And okay, here's another question. Yeah. If GPS coordinates are in the metadata, can uh, they be searched by GPS coordinates in Xire? This is from Len. Yeah, I think this is uh, actually, I'm not sure. Um, so we had this question very often and we, um, I think it, I'm not sure it's in the current version, but certainly in, in the next one, it will be yeah, incorporated, yeah. Okay, well, while we're doing this, Earhart, I want to remind everyone that uh, here in the US, we are having an XIR spring sale. Uh, for a limited time, you can save $30 on the Xire bundle, which includes both Xire Photo and the Xire Search 2 Lightroom plugin. And, and that's mm -hmm. all part of the spring sale. You can learn more at Xire, that's E X C I R E dot com. And that is again for the uh, for the US audiences. And if you have questions about that, uh, please drop them in the chat. I will save the chat and we'll see if we can get back to you for folks that are not directly in the United States. All right, so back to you, Earhart. So uh, it's kind of getting dark here. Turn on some light, okay? <laughs> okay, 
All right. So I think we've just about got uh, everybody answered. Let me do another quick check of the questions. And Carl, thank you so much. He says, just bought it super. So that's exciting. And um, oh, this is a good one, Earhart. Are there any additional costs for upgrades? So um, um, the way we did it so far was that uh, we we gave free updates like for about two years. And then uh, in case we have a major upgrade, then we will definitely give a, a, a large discount to uh, to the customers that we already have. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So um, so we, we try to be fair in that sense. Yeah. Do you know if uh, XIR works with on one software? Uh, for editing or? Well, uh, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what uh, Martin is. Um, oh, it's in, in transferring ratings. So if they rate something in on one, will XIR pick that up? Well, I, I think I can't answer that. So what I okay, know is that if, if you have the ratings, um, for example, in Lightroom, you give all your ratings and then you export them and uh, Lightroom will write them into a sidecar file. And if you do that in any program, then we will be able to read them in, right? Okay, so, so that yeah. needs a little more research. And so I'm, not, I'm not uh, familiar with the details of that program, right? So uh, this is why I can't answer it. But if, if the ratings are in a sidecar file, then we'll, we'll be able to transfer them. So can they also read the uh, ratings if they're put into a JPEG, which doesn't use uh, sidecar files? Yeah, if they are in the, in the metadata, then yeah, we can read them from there, yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I think that pretty well handles everything. We've got all the questions. And uh, I want to thank everyone. Do we know if there are any discounts? I don't know about those. For discounts, uh, we'll do the very best to find out the answers and put a post up on photofocus.com. And I think that is going to handle it for this edition of The Organized Photographer. Do you have anything you'd like to add, Earhart? So maybe we, just one thing. So um, I think that... Um, the di one difference is between, let's say, Xire Photo and some other, let's say, editing software is that if you, let's say, you you have a preset or you do some editing, then you can immediately judge, you know, the benefits of yeah, it looks nice or it doesn't look nice. But here, it's kind of different. So the more you use it, the more you realize how useful it is, right? So because um, many, you know, maybe tested just import let's say a few hundred images and then you play around with it and then of course you don't have a large benefit but the more images you have the more you use it the more you see the benefits right so i think that's a, an important thing to know when yeah. you think um, well, one of the things i use it for is quite often i'll have a makeup artist or i'll have a uh, uh, a model want all of the pictures that they have worked on with me so in the makeup artist it's all in the metadata but with the model all i have to do is pick her face or his face do a search and it brings them up so it's yeah. a very very powerful and useful sorting tool and what i really like is you can pick a group of people pick one face out of it and choose whether they're smiling the eyes are open or not and it'll yeah. get just those that person so it's a very, right, so very you, powerful search tool. Yeah, you can say, okay, so these two people, uh, they should smile, the eyes should be open and, and so on, right? And then you can find, so in this case, you would find all the images where these two girls- The ones uh, with the green square around them, you bet. Yeah, the, the ones with the green square, and in addition, they should smile and they should have the, their eyes open, right? And then you start searching and, uh, and then, uh, uh, you get those images, right? And that's so handy when you're doing group shots and you want to make sure that everybody's eyes are open. So this is, uh, this is it's very cool. I use it a lot and I really enjoy working with it. Yeah, and great... we, we will uh, come up in a few months, we will um, come up with a culling, special culling tool, which will allow you to 
really quickly uh, quickly cull through your images right but with some special um, functions like uh, just the control for eye sharpness or face sharpness and so on and then then you can say okay so i want those images from that type of image where the eyes are the sharpest and things like that right so um, that's awesome that's well then we'll have to have you back for another uh explanation on that one another webinar on yeah, the maybe, organized yeah. photographer <laughs> yeah okay yeah thank you everybody for watching i've really enjoyed having you Earhart. you are thank you. a lot of fun to chat with and thank you for making finding our photographs even easier than they were before xire search in lightroom as a plugin and xire photo on sale at xire e-x-c-i-r-e dot -E com I'm Kevin Ames. I'm a writer at Photo Focus, and thank you for being with the organized photographer. Okay, thanks for having me here. Yeah. You're most welcome.